right, we're on Saturday morning, King of Hammers. It should be on my laptop, which is in the bedroom. Can you shout? Gear up at home, Hart. How you feeling? Uh. I guess I'm going on the Teddy vlog, so here we are. Geared Teddy up. cam. <laughs> we raced in like one and a half hours. We're geared up at home. Well, we're all ready. Got the gear on. Willsy, how you feeling? Yeah, good man. Yeah, real good. How's the kit? Yeah, real good. How's the bike? <laughs> yeah, real good. You got nothing to say for the people. It's so uh, comfy. It's honestly. Wow. It's so good. Wow, you got the film guy on deck. Oh, dude, I'm what do you got to say, man? I don't know. What do you got to say? You got the FX3 all charged up? Yeah, we're charged, dude. We're Copy, ready to rock. FX3, vests on. We're ready to rock, dude. Are you? All right, we got. Sean stayed up late last night. Look at the grit this guy put in. Fresh, gnarly, 140 on the rear. Kit's looking good. Got the heavy moto GPS mount set up. Out the front, kind of a different setup than everybody else. Dual. We're looking pretty good. All right, we're down here in the pro pit. We got the bike dialed in, Sean stayed up late. He got a fresh Ken and Arley on the back. And then we got the GPS is all charged up. I've never really navigated in a race, so it's my first time, but we're gonna go out there and have some fun. Dude, King of the Motos 2024. What do you think of this start? We got a pretty rocky start. Uh, the start's gonna be huge because it's gonna be a big dust cloud, so you don't want to get stuck behind people. Plus, I don't think everybody's gonna be able to clean this hill the first go. So, yeah, hopefully get a good start. And top 10 would be nice and plug away. Hopefully grab a couple positions and see how we do at the finish line. Hi, dude, King of the Motos, qualifying, dude, how was it? It was pretty good, I mean, dusty start, and uh, I was probably like, maybe like 12th off the start, and I was getting hammered with rocks, hammered by dust, so I just tried to charge, and then I think it got to like about 6th, and then came in on the second lap, 
did I couldn't even get my GPS going so I just said screw it and I went and I was just trying to follow some of the other guys and then I actually got to a ledge and lost them so I was panicking and freaking out and because I, I had no coordinate coordinates didn't know where to go but uh, I ended up just finding the trail somehow catching them and then uh, I got two or three of them near the end right near the end on the second lap and came out top 10 so pretty stoked for tomorrow I mean it's we're on the front row and we got four hours plus ahead of us tomorrow I think so it's gonna be gnarly but just get out there and hopefully pick a couple guys off and see if we can make it to the finish line all right so lap two do you coming around on some lappers how do you uh how do you take that the lappers were hectic I mean we're climbing up hills and I'm it's hard to look all the way to the top of the hill because there's dust in like little pockets of dust and there's rocks flying because they're roosting and spinning and rocks are flying past your head as you get as you get close to them and it's pretty scary but I mean I just tried to pick smart lines and go everywhere where the lappers weren't. Hey dude, day two, King of Motos, it's a little wet. Yeah, we got some uh, rain on the lens this morning. A little sprinkle and it dumped last night so we're working with some pretty prime dirt but honestly the rocks have some moisture on them and uh, the wet sand leak tracking onto the rocks is going to make them slipperier so I think today is actually going to be a little bit harder than yesterday we got a new rear tire and uh, yeah we're ready to go I think it's just go out there and plug away and hopefully not make any mistakes and try to get over these slippery rocks All right, we just got our start packed in. Now we got to head up this wet sandy trail and straight into the rock. So kind of a dead engine start. <laughs> hopefully get the front start. I think we got 20 guys on the front row and hopefully be the first guy up through this canyon. I came in right here and I was cramping and I had salt pills in here so I just ripped like six caffeine salt pills and I feel like I'm like I feel like I'm like tripping out right now I got too much caffeine so it got me through all right dude 2024 king of motos wrapped up that was gnarly. really <laughs> it was long it was like I don't even know how long we've been on the bike it's like 245 and it we started at 9 so we've been on the bike for hours feels like days and it was gnarly I the first lap halfway through I broke my rear brake pedal off so I had no rear brake and I just lost a lot of confidence there a bunch of the faster guys got out front and then uh, I came into the pit second lap put a new one on it took me like I was probably in the pit for 15 minutes just trying to get snacks and I was already cramping and then I felt like I was gonna die end of lap two <laughs> 
felt like I was gonna die and rip some salt pills and barely made it to the finish line. I was, I was just happy I made it because I felt like I was hanging on by a thread that whole last lap. All right, uh, well you made it, dude. Favorite part of the race? Honestly, the sand hills where there was no rocks because there were so many rocks and you would just be, I felt like I was all over the place. My legs were flying off half the time and I couldn't even, I felt like I could barely even control the handlebars for like 90% of the race. So probably just the smooth sandy trails. Our and least favorite, what do you got? Uh, there was one gnarly up in, um, I think chocolate, not chocolate thunder, uh, dead blow. One gnarly up and you had to like pivot turn on a slab and then get up a ledge. And I, both times I like, barely made it up and just like fell on the bike and then pushed it up and yeah it was gnarly.